Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to do a quick comparison between the Amazon Scuba Funnel Neck Sweater, the half, half zip one. Wow, I can't speak today. Half zip one. Um, this is kind of like their dupe for the Lululemon uh, Funnel Neck Scuba Sweater, which I have here. This color is in windmill, by the way. For those of you who are wondering, I did a quick little shorts on this, so if you didn't catch it, um, you don't like longer form videos like this, I suggest you check that out. But I wanted to do this video because I wanted to give you a little bit more of an in-depth review comparing these two because the Amazon one is significantly less expensive than the Lululemon one, obviously. Uh, this one I actually got on sale. Uh, it was like $32.99 and it went down to like $26. So I picked up the white one um, because I wanted to compare. It had great reviews and I personally have never had any luck buying clothes from Amazon. Very seldomly will I find something that is okay. Not amazing, but okay. So, uh, Let's cut to the chase here. <laughs> These are not dupes. Uh, and I'll tell you exactly why. So the actual structure of the sweater seems to be the same. The Lululemon one is definitely more uh, structured and more contoured. And you can see that by the stitching in the back and how it kind of cinches in on the bottom. Uh, the zipper for the Lululemon one actually has uh, a hair tie on it. It's an emergency hair tie in case you forget yours, you could just take this off and, and use it, which I thought was a nice uh, little touch. You also have the zip um, pocket here so that you don't accidentally like get your skin stuck in the zipper, which I can appreciate. Uh, the Amazon one, although it does not have a um hair tie it has the same kind of zipper situation it does not have a hood for the zipper so the zipper is exposed on both sides where the lululemon one actually uh, on the inside is completely covered uh, so it, it's the zipper is hidden behind this fabric just to ensure that you don't uh, zip any kind of bra or undershirt that you may be wearing under the sweater so attention to detail is very much appreciated um, and that's not uh, the reason why I feel like the Amazon one isn't really worth it just to the touch uh, the Amazon one is a very very thin uh, and and the fleece uh, material on the inside is uh, to the touch not a very good quality I am NOT a knitwear or sweater connoisseur okay i don't know about fabric content or fibers okay but i do have experience with the feeling of this type of fleece it doesn't hold up well it will shed and uh i will have to replace it uh within the year uh, because it will start to shed and it'll start to have bald spots on the inside so i've been there done that this is not my first rodeo so when I got this, I just was expecting it to be almost like the same thing because that's what the overwhelming reviews online were stating. Uh, no, it's not. Um, I find that it is much thinner and because it's much thinner, it's a little bit see-through. I know I got white, but I'm assuming with a darker color, maybe you won't have that issue. Uh, but with the white, it is um, see-through, however, um, this is the part that was definitely a no-go for me. The stitching on this sweater is terribly done. Uh, there is stitching over stitching, there's skip stitching, there are broken stitches, and there are lots of places where there's just like, they forgot to cut off the strings. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick that up. But it's, um, like I said, I've been there, I've done that. I'm very familiar with this uh, type of stitching when it's not done 
correctly or they are broken what starts to happen is as you wash it and as you wear it the stitching will continue to come loose uh, over time and then you every time you wash it or every time you wear it uh, you will start to unravel that stitching slowly and you have to continue to cut and you have to continue to cut now if you know how to sew and this is not a problem for you uh, and you know how to fix this wonderful but I don't want to buy a product that I have to fix myself and that's just my own personal uh, preference okay um, as far as thickness is concerned when I buy a sweater like this I do prefer a thicker consistency I find that a thicker fleece holds up better over time and it's cozier it's more malleable and it um, it's more durable it's much more durable so another thing i did want to point out was that with the amazon one and this is a positive the funnel neck is not as high as the lululemon one the lululemon funnel neck is a fairly fairly high um, and they do that on purpose because if you live somewhere where it's very windy or it's and it's co very cold it's supposed to come up kind of like right under your chin to give you a little bit more of that cozy feel um, so that again that is just a personal preference if you like that great go with the lululemon one but if you want a shorter uh funnel neck then i think the amazon will be a little bit um better choice another pro that the amazon one has is that the actual length of the arms is a little bit longer than the lululemon uh scuba sweater this one when i stick my thumb my thumb holes in my i stick my thumbs in the thumb holes wow um and i try to stretch my arms out this way is fairly tight and it's uncomfortable so that's not that's we don't do that with this one <laughs> with the amazon one because they are longer it is very comfortable to use those thumb holes and stretch your arms up in front of you or whatnot now as far as the actual thumb holes they're pretty much uh the same size however a, i did see a couple of their reviews stating that they rip easily so they'll start to rip at the edges mine look like they've been stitched well so i don't foresee it happening with this one but quite a few people were pointing that out that it does end up ripping um eventually now in reference to cut i find that the amazon one is a little bit more boxy a little bit wider uh, i prefer a sweater like this that is boxy and oversized in nature to uh drape a little bit more in into the body when i'm walking so that it doesn't like flap out if you know what i mean another pro that the amazon sweater has is that it comes in a lot more sizes than the one from lululemon and reason being is i'm an extra small small so you only have three types of sizes with this extra small small medium large extra large la large extra large right so you're saying i know you're probably asking yourself well isabel if these arms are a little too short for you why don't you just up a size I can't because although it'll fit me it fits me body wise the arms are actually really long so long that I have about this much that hangs over my hand so that's why I don't size up in the scubas I just when I use my thumb holes I just don't like make sure I'm not driving uh, make sure I'm not trying to like reach things uh, in my cabinet i just i cozy up and i'm just like working on my computer typing on my computer that kind of situation is fine um so as far as uh price is concerned lululemon is a very expensive brand that is that's not beyond me 
is not. Uh, I rarely buy anything from them full price. Things are constantly going on sale. So I usually pay between $89 and $99 for a scuba sweater like this from Lululemon. These, I think, when they go on sale, usually go on sale for $89. But Lululemon also has a website that is um, that sells Lululemon clothes um, that are either brand new with tags on or lightly used. And those are heavily discounted as well. I just recommend you know your size in in different styles like leggings, shorts. Do not assume that because you are one size in a certain legging or short that you're going to be that size across the board. This is one of my only gripes with the brand. I think they make really good quality quality athleisure wear and there is a reason why they have a cult following. I over the years have bought very random pieces from them on sale and i have used them to doomsday and they are like brand spanking new they hold up so so well and the quality of the product is very very good i have yet to come across an item that has not held up well or has torn or um, has not been effective in what it was made for. Uh, so for that reason, I'm okay with pay pay paying a higher price tag. I have owned all kinds of athleisure wear. I have bought things from Walmart. I have bought things from Amazon and I have to replace those things after probably a year's use. Stitching pops. Um, I, you know, the thigh chafing will eventually create holes or make stitches pop. Um, I don't get that with my Lululemon uh, stuff. However, the only issue I have with the brand is that their sizing is very inconsistent. So, for example, I am one size in wonder train leggings but then i will try on um an align an align legging but and i'm a different size in that or they'll come out with a new color and all of a sudden that particular color is you have to size down or you have to size up that's my only really annoying thing about them I, I they need to get their sizing to get together even the employees say it like it is one of the most annoying things that they have to deal with when it comes to doing their job because you can be a different size and a different style so other than that I think that their stuff is very well made I am very sad though that the Amazon sweater didn't work out because this is a very nice price tag and uh, I really did want a white one uh, which doesn't currently exist in the Lululemon line uh, but these these are just top notch top top notch I recommend that when you wash them you hang them to dry because I just hang them on a uh, a hanger and I just leave it in my laundry room or I'll hang it off a chair and it'll take 24 hours uh, to dry or whatever because it is a thicker um, fleece but I do that just to prevent any kind of shrinkage um, not that I haven't put this in the dryer I have on delicate I normally wash all of my athleisure wear on delicate and I dry on delicate uh, there's a lot of things that I will hang out uh, to dry due to material, um, stuff that I kind of don't want any kind of shrinkage to happen. Uh, I will do that. It's not a lot, but there are a couple pieces I own that I do that with. Um, but with that said, I just want you to know that if you are thinking of buying this, think about what you're looking for you want something really really light something that you may not care replacing in six months seven months um and that you're okay with all of the broken uh stitching everywhere and that you're not gonna mind having to trim those regularly 
and that you want something maybe with a lower funnel neck and that you want something that's a little bit longer in the arms. If just those are the things that you need to consider. And uh, with that said, I do appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for those of you who had questions about <laughs> this little comparison, I am here to give you my two cents on it because I've been seeing a lot of uh, people saying that this is the same. I don't find it to be the same. I really don't. Uh, I want it to be the same because my bank account would love it, would love it if it was the same. But I find also too that I own about three of these in three different colors. Is it three? Yeah, three of them in three different colors. And pretty much that's all I need. Like I don't need to buy another funnel neck sweater. Like I know this is gonna last me forever. And so I probably won't buy that, buy another one for several years. So, all right you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and see you next time. Bye.